Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. And in this video, we're going to show you really quickly how to use LearnDash Pro Panel. LearnDash Pro Panel is an add-on for LearnDash that adds analytic data to LearnDash so you can see your course's usage and track people completing courses and going through different lessons and things like that. And it can be purchased from the LearnDash site uh, as an add-on but equally on certain packages for example learn dash cloud it comes bundled in with these options and also if you get this uh, ultimate course creator bundle that also comes with pro panel so if you have bought the add-on or bought a bundle that comes with it then it's likely that you'll have a zip file that you would upload by going to add new plugin and then uploading it. And then once it's uploaded, you can then activate it. So without activating any kind of reporting functionality, your options for reporting in LearnDash are quite limited. If you go to courses and then edit, you can see some fairly top level statistics here on the dashboard, such as the number of people on the course, how many lessons and what percentage complete there is. And also if you head to LearnDash LMS and then reports, there are a couple of uh, sort of spreadsheet exports you can use here. So if we just open up one of these, all it is is um, a CSV spreadsheet that has this data in you know, uh, depending on how many people have, you know, people are on the courses and if they're completed and things like that. So there's a few bits of information you can see from that, but it is quite limited. And that's where Pro Panel comes in. So let's activate that now and see what difference we see from it. We'll just click activate and then head to the dashboard. And now what we see is we have all of these dashboard widgets here with different bits of information. So we can toggle these on and off if we don't want any of them, um, just using the options here. And we can also drag these around. So if you've got you know, dashboard uh, widgets that you already use and want them in a certain order, then you can do that. But um, essentially what you get is an overview which is your kind of top level snapshot of what's going on on the course how many students how many courses assignments and essays that you have there as well as this live activity feed and this will be constantly changing as people go through courses and lessons and it's just showing you what's happening kind of now really so what's happening in the last uh, few minutes we can see who's done lessons and completed courses and from here you can also export you know, basic course and quiz reports. So let's just hide those for now and show you these other ones. We also have these others that are a bit more kind of involved. And what we can see here is that we can filter by certain courses and um, we can see, yeah, I've, I've just filtered by a course here. We can see it's got one user on it and they've got 100% complete and you can see progress distribution so if you had people who haven't completed versus people who have you can have breakdowns of charts there and um, here we've got everyone completed so they're all in one here and you can also filter these by particular users and get you know data there um, you know so if I did that you can see all of John Smith's courses um, if it had multiple courses there and how he's doing across each one so there's ability to filter by both courses and users. And there are other things like statuses and start dates and end dates that can also be used in this filtering. From here, you can also email people. So if you filtered that down and wanted to email these people, you can say, you know, well done, great job on completing the course. And you can send that email out and that'll go to anyone who's met that criteria within the filters. So that's your basic overview of how that appears, what, what LearnDash Pro Panel does. I'll just quickly show you that you can also have these in a front end setting. So we're obviously viewing this in the WordPress dashboard and not everyone wants people seeing that. You, know, you might want to have a um, front end 
view of this. So what you can do is head to new and create a page. And I'll just call this something like uh, front end dashboard. And from here, uh, if you're using Gutenberg, you can use this plus and search for things like, um, well, let's just search for pro panel. So you've got all the different blocks here, like the filter block, I'll add that. And, um, you know, perhaps uh, the reporting block and let's add this over, overview block. And yeah, you might want to move these into columns, things like that. But for now, I just wanted to show you how this works. And what we'll do now is view the page. And now within a front end setting here, outside of the WordPress dashboard, we're seeing the same filters that we can use. And you know, the, the quite similar to how they did before, but you're using them within the pages like this. So if you find that useful, if you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.